Welcome to Clemco Industries. This video is intended to be an equipment setup guide only and not to be used as a substitute for reading the owner's manual. Abrasive blasting equipment is dangerous and the operator must still read all applicable owner's manuals before setting up and operating the equipment. Blast Machine Setup Preparing the Worksite When setting up the equipment at the worksite, take note of the direction of the wind. Be sure to locate the compressor upwind of the blasting operation. This will prevent contaminated air from entering the compressor intake. Preparing the Blast Machine Make sure all fittings on the blast machine are wrench tight. Leaks will cause the system to malfunction. Sometimes the pop-up valve can shift during shipping. Check the alignment of the pop-up valve to ensure that when it is activated, it will be centered on the pop-up seat. If the pop-up valve is not properly aligned, it could prevent the machine from pressurizing. Make sure the choke valve is open. Make sure the abrasive metering valve is closed. Make sure the safety petcock located on top of the inlet valve is open. This will prevent accidental activation of the blast machine. Install the optional moisture separator to the inlet valve. Clean, dry air is essential to an efficient blasting operation. Moisture in the air supply will likely cause media to clump and stick together, blocking the metering valve. Install an air supply hose fitting to the moisture separator that is compatible with the air supply hose. Preparing the blast hose and remote control lines. Uncoil the blast hose and lay the 50-foot twin line alongside it. Band the control handle to the blast hose close to the nozzle holder using the two nylon ties provided. Make sure to use a safety cable when connecting the blast hose to the quick coupling on the blast machine. Be sure the locking pin is engaged. Connect the two hose unions to one end of the 5-foot twin line. Band that end of the 5-foot twin line to just behind the quick coupling of the blast machine outlet pipe nipple. Attach the other end of the 5-foot twin line hose to the inlet valve. Connect the 50-foot twin line to the 5-foot twin line. Check the tightness of all the fittings. Leaks will cause the system to malfunction. Install the nozzle by first inserting the nozzle washer into the nozzle holder. Then thread the nozzle into the holder hand tight. Connecting to the compressor. Unroll your air and supply hose between the compressor and blast machine. Attach the air line to the blast machine. Make sure you use a safety cable to secure the connection. Attach the other end of the air line to the compressor. Again, be sure to use a safety cable to secure the connection. Setting up the CPF filter. Unroll your air and supply hose between the compressor and the CPF filter. Attach the air supply hose to the CPF filter. Attach the air supply hose to the compressor. Make sure you use a safety cable to secure the connection. Unroll the high-pressure breathing hose between the CPF filter and where you'll be blasting. Connect the high-pressure breathing hose onto the CPF filter. Connect the other end to your blast hood or climate control device. Remember, OSHA requires that grade D breathing air be supplied to the CPF filter and a CO monitor be used to monitor the air being supplied to the respirator. Adjust the pressure on the CPF filter according to your supplied air respirator's operating instructions. Starting up the system. Operators and anyone else that may be exposed to the hazards generated by the blasting process must wear appropriate protective gear, including abrasive resistant clothing, leather gloves, eye and hearing protection, and a NIOSH approved Type CE supplied air respirator. Close the air valve on the compressor. Start the compressor following the instructions that came with it. Allow it to warm up to operating temperature and pressure. The pressure must be more than 50 PSI, but no more than the blast machine's rated pressure. Slowly open the compressor air valve to pressurize the air supply line. Listen for noise that indicates any open lines or leaks. Load your abrasive into the blast machine by pouring the abrasive into the concave head. Use the optional screen to prevent foreign objects that may jam the machine from entering the pressure vessel. Keep the abrasive level below the pop-up valve 
to prevent abrasive from being forced up and out of the machine when it pressurizes. Make sure the remote control handle lever is in the up, no blast position. When you are ready to start blasting, close the safety petcock. This allows the blast machine to be activated by the remote control handle. The system is now ready to begin blasting.